Dude, check out the song! <laughs> now, we're ready to sketch using limits uh, some of your rational functions involving asymptotes. So, syempre, discuss ko muna ano-ano yung mga steps na kailangan na gagawin natin no, kapag given tayo ng isang rational function. How do we sketch that? Una, we need to identify the domain of F. Pangalawa, de determine the symmetry. So, yung una natin ginawa, no? We will look if it's symmetric with respect to your y-axis, to your origin. This will help you check kung nasa tamang landas ka ng pag-graph. No? And what to expect to your graph. Kung alam mo kung saan symmetric yung graph mo, then you can easily verify if your graph is correct. So this is done by simply checking f of negative x, replacing all x's with negative x. Okay? Then third one, compute all vertical and horizontal asymptotes, which by now you should know after discussing it. Then after knowing your asymptotes, you should plot them in your Cartesian plane. After plotting them, you choose at least one point in each side of your vertical asymptote. So, bawat side ng vertical asymptote mo, you should plot a point which will help you guide your function. And lastly, interpret the limits from step 3 to complete your sketch. This will not give you the exact this may not give you the exact graph of your function, but this can give you a sketch of what your function looks like. Okay? So, example, sketch nga natin tong mga function na to. Let's do it one by one, of course. First one. So, I want to sketch the graph of this function. First thing to do, domain. Well, rational function naman, nag exist yan everywhere except kung saan nagsizero yung denominator. In this case, it only becomes zero at x equals zero. So its domain is all real numbers except zero. Good. Ano nga yung next step? Symmetries. I want to check if this is symmetric with respect to your origin, y-axis, or neither. In this case f of negative x, if I replace all x's with negative x, I get this. But negative x quantity squared is still x squared. So yung ito, tsaka ito sa baba, magiging x squared lang pareho. So, you can see that, babalik lang siya sa original function. Tama? Ito po, ito pa rin yan. Okay? Conclusion, symmetric with respect to your y-axis because it's, it's an even function. Step two is done. Next, ito yung medyo mahirap ng konti, pero kayang-kaya. Asymptotes tayo. I want to compute the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Game. Uh, yung suspect, hindi ko na nilagay, no? It's just clearly zero. No? The only thing that makes your denominator zero is zero in this case. So I will check the limit as x approaches zero from the left and from the right to see if it's a vertical asymptote. So doing so, if I plug in 0 here, I get negative 1 sa taas. Sa baba, naka-square diyan. So kahit 0 minus yan, nagiging 0 plus. Okay? So this becomes negative infinity. Okay? So x equals 0 is a vertical asymptote. No? But I still, sabi ko nga kanina, kailangan din natin yung isang side even though dun sa isang side pa lang alam mo na na VA siya. Because later, when we complete our sketch in step 6, we will need all of this. Okay? Now, if I plug in 0 here, ganun pa din naman. Ganun din, no? Kasi x squared naman to eh. So, 0 plus pa din sa ilalim. Dito, negative 1 pa din. Tama? So, I get minus infinity pa din. Okay? VA is x equals 0. Next, I want to compute the horizontal asymptote. So I want to compute the limit as x approaches plus infinity and minus infinity. As x approaches plus infinity, well, the degree ng taas, pareho lang sa baba, x squared. Tama? So I can just look no, at the coefficients. Coefficient ng x squared dito 1, dito 1. 
is just one. Okay? You can go the long way if you want, divide above and below by x squared, you'll still get the same answer. Yung from the left, ah, sorry, x approaches minus infinity, well, ganun din. 1 over 1 din, no? Titignan mo. You still get 1. So your horizontal asymptote is y equals 1. So that's step 3. Step 4. I am now ready to plot my asymptotes. x equals 0 is a vertical asymptote. That is just your y-axis. Tama, plot natin. Y equals 1 is your horizontal asymptote. It's this line right here. Okay? Then step 5, sabi natin, strategically plot points from each side of your vertical asymptote. So ito yung vertical asymptote mo. So maganda na makapag-plot ako ng isang point dito sa kaliwa niya at isang point dito sa kanan niya. So how do you do that? Well, just choose any x here at the left and here at the right, tas plug in mo sa f of x, then plot that point na makukuha mo. So syempre, piliin mo na yung madali i-compute, no? Piliin mo na yung hindi ka na mahihirapan. Kayo bahala whatever you choose, but ako, to make it easier, dito sa kaliwa, I'll choose negative 1 sa kaliwa ng asymptote ko. If I do that, f of negative 1 is... If I plug in negative 1 here, sa taas, I get negative 1 squared is positive 1. So 1 minus 1 sa taas, that's 0. Yung ilalim, negative 1 squared, that's 1. So 0 over 1, I get 0. Okay? Dito sa kanan ng asymptote ko, maybe I can get 1. So f of 1 is just, well, yung, baba, ay yung taas, 1 minus 1. 0, yung ilalim, 1 then I get 0. So I can plot negative 1, 0. Ito siya. Negative 1, 0. And 1, 0. Which is, nasa kabilang side dapat. Na asymptote ko. This one. Okay? And now, step 6. We interpret the limits we computed in step 3 to finalize our sketch. Okay? So ito, so, ano ibig sabihin nun? Well, look at this one. X approaches 0 from the left. Your function goes to negative infinity. As in yung X equals 0, ito siya. So, sabi niya, habang ina-approach ko si 0 from the left, so ito yun, ito yung kaliwa, dapat yung function ko, pababa ng pababa. So, how do you draw that? Like this. Okay? As X approaches 0 from the left, palapit siya ng palapit dito sa 0, pababa ng pababa yung function ko, it goes to minus infinity. So that's how you interpret the limits you've computed. Kaya importante na lahat ng one hand limit makompute natin para makompleto yung sketch natin. Importante rin yung step 5 and step 6 because hindi, hindi, hindi mo mapepredict yung graph mo just by your asymptotes. Because it, it could go a lot of ways. Pwede siya mapunta dito, mapunta dito. No? So, and importante rin na tama yung pag-compute mo, no? no? Or tama yung mga points na ipa-plot mo. Otherwise, magkakamali ka ng graph. So be careful lang doon. Okay, next. Ito namang limit as x approaches 0 from the right minus infinity. Sabihin, habang papalapit ako ng papalapit kay 0 mula sa kanan, ito si 0, mula sa kanan, yung function ko dapat, papuntang negative infinity pa rin. Pababa pa din. It's like this. Okay? As x approaches 0 from the right, my function goes to minus infinity. Okay, next. Ito naman third one. As x approaches plus infinity, yung function ko papunta kay 1. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Habang palaki ng palaki si x, so habang pakanan ng pakanan, dapat yung function ko papalapit sa y equals 1, which is this one. Okay? So, how do you interpret that? Like this. Habang papalaki ng papalaki si x, papalapit siya ng papalapit k1. Okay? And lastly, as x gets smaller and smaller, it also approaches 1. Ganto siya. Habang papaliit ng papaliit, papaliit si x, so kaliwa ng, kaliwa, kaliwa ng pakaliwa, I still approach y equals 1. 
Okay, and this is your sketch. Itong red, siya yung sketch ng function mo. And to check, na complete mo sa step 2 na siya ay symmetric sa y-axis, tama naman, no? Ito yung itsura niya sa kabilang side, ito yung mirror image sa kabila, magkamukha naman sila. Okay? Good. Next. Sa pa? Kaya, let's, uh, let's catch this function. So, six steps, no? Domain, <coughs> excuse me, domain, symmetry, asymptotes, plot the asymptotes, plot points, and then interpret your limits. Domain, this rational function exists everywhere except at the real number where your denominator is zero, which is negative one. So, all real numbers except negative one. Next, symmetry. I want to compute g of negative x. Replacing all x's with negative x, ano nagbago? Itong x naging minus x. Tapos itong x dito naging minus x. So pag multiply ko ng negative 3, yung minus x naging plus 3x. Okay? Uh, may ugnayan ba sila? Hindi sila pareho, hindi rin sila negative na isa't isa, no? Pag negative ko kasi ito, dapat lahat sa taas ang papalitan or dapat lahat sa baba papalitan. But ang napalitan, ito lang mag-isa na ito tsaka ito isa sa baba. So, not symmetric with respect to your y-axis or your origin. Okay? Asymptotes. Isa lang naman suspect mo for VA, negative 1 lang, no? The only thing that makes your denominator zero. So, doing so, if I plug, if I try to compute the limit approaching negative 1 from the left and from the right, this one muna, limit from the left as x approaches negative 1. If I try to plug in negative 1, I'll get 7 sa taas. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3 plus 4 is 7. Yung baba ay 0 minus. This is minus infinity. Limit from the right. Yung taas naman, 7 pa din. Yung baba daw magiging 0 plus. So I get plus infinity. So VA po, si x equals negative 1. HA, game. Limit as x approaches plus infinity of this thing. What can you say about the degree? Above and below? Pareho lang, no? So, ano ang magiging sagot dito? I'll just divide the leading coefficient. In this case, negative 3 yung coefficient na x, ha? So, I'll divide negative 3 over 1 here. I'll get negative 3. Similarly, pag kinuha ko yung limit as x goes to minus infinity, I still get negative 3. Kasi I'll still divide either way negative 3 over 1 here. So, my ha is y equals negative 3. Okay, plot natin. X equals negative 1. Madaya ako kasi alam ko na yung itsura. So, alam ko na marami akong kailangan na points dito. No? Pero kayo naman, well, you can... Okay, when you try to plot it by hand, I think kaya nyo, nyo, kaya nyo din na masolusyonan. Uh, so that your Cartesian plane will be sufficient. So, X equals negative 1. X equals negative 1. Ito po si negative 1. So, ito yung vertical line na yan. Okay? Y equals negative 3. This is negative to negative 4, so somewhere in the middle. Yeah. So these are your asymptotes. Okay? And then, ito yung vertical asymptote mo. I want a point sa kaliwa niya, tsaka sa kanan niya, so that I can graph properly. So, sa kaliwa ng negative 1, ano magandang i-compute, siguro yung negative 2 na lang. Kayo bahala kung ano gusto nyo. At x equals negative 2, ito po yung function. g of negative 2, ano mangyayari? If I plug in negative 2 here, I'll get negative 3 times negative 2, that's 6. Plus 4, that's 10. Yung taas ay 10. Yung ilalim, negative 2 plus 1, that's negative 1. So 10 over negative 1, I get negative 10. Oops, this should be G. Sorry, not F. 
Okay? Next, x equal 0 yung pinili ko sa kanan ng negative 1, sa kanan ng asymptote na to. Yun yung madali eh, no? May 0 dito. Okay? So, g of 0, pag zero ko tong x sa taas, yung matitirang 4, mawawala to. Sa baba, 0 plus 1, I get 1. So, I get 4. g of 0 equals 4. Now, let's plot these points. Negative 2, comma, negative 10 is this point. Negative 2, negative 10. 0, 4, asan siya? 0, 4 ito. Tama ba? Yan, tama. Then, si 0, 4. Okay? So, last step is to interpret your limits. Game. Itong una, sabi niya, as x approaches negative 1 from the left, ito si negative 1, ito yung left niya. So, mula sa left, dapat pababa ng pababa yung function ko. So, mula dito, approaching negative 1 from the left, pag ganito siya dapat. Tama? Oops, ayan. Spoil na kayo. Okay. Next, as x approaches negative 1 from the right, ito po yung negative 1, ito yung kanan niya, ito yung gagamitin natin starting point, uh, papunta siya dapat sa plus infinity. Okay? So, paganto siya. Pataas ng pataas yung function ko habang papalapit ng papalapit kay negative 1 mula sa kanan, mula dito. Okay? Now, Ito naman sa mga HA na to. Limit as x approaches plus infinity ay minus 3. So gusto ko habang papalaki ng papalaki si x, papalapit siya na papalapit dito kay negative 3. So paano yun? Ganito po. Habang papalaki ng papalaki si x, siya ay papalapit ng papalapit sa negative 3. Okay. How do I know na at dito mag-start? Kasi pag dito, tapos ginawa ko yun, ginanto ko siya, edi dadaan siya dito, di ba? Hindi, hindi siya tama. And lastly, <clears throat> habang paliit ng paliit si x, papalapit pa, pa rin lang papalapit sa negative 3. So, pag ganito siya. Okay? So, pakaliwa ng pakaliwa si x kasi palit siya ng paliit, palapit siya ng palapit dito. Because if you check, sabi niya, it's not symmetric with respect to your y-axis or origin. Tama naman, no? Ito yung origin mo. Tapos yung isa nandito, yung isa nandito. So, pag flinip mo siya, hindi, hindi ito yung makukuha mo. No? And obviously, sa y-axis, hindi rin siya symmetric. So, tama yun ako na ng graph. Okay? Now, last example. May square root naman, no? Okay? Okay. First step, domain. So, ano yung, ano, ano yung risk para hindi mag-exist tong function na to? Una, may square root ka nakikita. So, ayaw natin na negative yung loob na isang square root, di ba? So, ano-ano ba yung mga nagpapanegative sa loob nito? Well, you have an x squared here. So, kahit ano pong x ang i-plug in ko dyan, pag in-square mo yun, magiging positive. Tapos, may plus 1 pa ako dito. No? So, yung loob ng square root na yan, hindi yan magiging negative kahit kailan. Okay? So, wala tayong problem doon. Next, another worry kung saan magiging undefined itong function na to is kung saan magsizero yung ilalim. But then again, kahit anong i-plug in kong x dyan, pag in-square ko yan, tapos dinagdagan ko pa ng 1, hindi yan magsizero kahit kailan. Okay? So, so, ano? Well, your domain is all real numbers. Now, this is always defined for any real number you plug in. Next, h of negative x. Symmetry tayo. I'll replace all x's by negative x. So, itong x na to magiging negative x. Itong x squared, pag ginawa kong negative x quantity squared, x squared ulit. So, ano nangyari? Hindi nagbago yung baba yung taas naging negative, I get the negative of your original function. Okay? So, siya po ay isang odd function symmetric with respect to your origin. Okay. 
asymptotes. Walang asim, wala tayong vertical asymptotes kasi hindi nga nagsi-zero yung denominator niya eh, ever. So you have no vertical asymptotes. And then what else? H A check natin. Limit as x approaches plus infinity and minus infinity. Plus infinity muna tayo. Well, how do we interpret this? Yung may square root of x squared sa baba. Well, highest power in your denominator is square root of x squared. Or that's absolute value of x. Or in this case, absolute value of x is x because x goes to infinity. Ganyan po. Kaya ang dinivide ko dito sa ilalim, yung square root of x squared, pinasok ko yung x squared sa loob. Ito naging 1. Ito 1 over x squared. Tapos ito, ang dinivide ko yung absolute value of x, which nga, alam natin is positive x in this case. Okay? Yung taas, magiging 1. Yung baba, square root of 1. Ito magzi-zero pag kinuha ko yung limit. So I get something like this. 1 ito, square root ng 1 plus 0 ito. I get 1. Okay? Then this one, ganun din. No? Ano na pinagkaiba? Yung absolute value of x naging negative x. Itong sa baba, ang dinivide ko pa rin naman, square root ng x squared, kaya ganito pa rin siya. So yung taas, naging negative 1 instead, I get negative 1. Okay? Okay, now, let's plot your asymptotes. So I have two HAs, by the way, y equals 1, and y equals negative 1. Okay? Plot. Wala tayong VA na ipa-plot. HA lang po. Ito po si y equals 1. Ito po si y equals negative 1. Tapos, sabi natin, step 5, plot tayo ng points on each side of your VA. Eh, wala nga tayong VA, so you could just choose any point you want. No? One, just one point, since wala namang VA, and just plot it. Well, ano yung pinakamadali? Edi, siguro mag-zero na tayo. No? So if at x equals 0, h of 0 equals 0. No? Kasi sa taas, 0 ito. Sa baba, square root ng 0 squared plus 1, that's 1. So 0 over 1, I get 0 here. So this is 0, 0. I can plot it here. And then last step, finally, is to interpret your limits. I only have two limits to interpret, no? So, limit as x approaches infinity or plus infinity is 1. So, dapat habang papalaki ng papalaki si x, pakanan ng pakanan, saan siya lumalapit? Sa 1. So, ito yung 1, oh. Kaya pa ganito siya. As x increases, it approaches y equals 1. Tapos, habang palit siya ng palit, as x approaches minus infinity, habang palit siya ng palit dito, lumalapit siya sa negative 1. This one. Okay? So this red thing is your plot for your h of x. Okay? And that's how you sketch using limits. So that's all.